Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a flying carpet game pass in Roblox Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to the top link in the description, which will take you to my flying carpet model. So if you just add that to your inventory, and then we're going to make the game pass itself. So if you find your Roblox games page on the website, and then once you're here, just go to the store tab, and then we're going to add a game pass. So just click add pass, and you can upload an image. And then when you've uploaded your image, you need to give it a pass name, so I'll just call it Flying Carpet. And then you can give it a description if you want. And then click Preview. And then click Verify Upload. And now you see the Game Pass has been created, we're just going to click on it. And it'll take you to the Flying Carpet page. And in the URL bar at the top, we want to copy this number. This is the Game Pass ID. So if you select it, and then you can right click and click Copy. Or you can just press Ctrl C. And now we're going to put it on sale. So how we can do that is press the three dots and click configure. And then go to sales. Turn on item for sale and give it a price. Then you can just click save. And we can go back to Roblox Studio. So once we're in Roblox Studio, we need to open the toolbox and insert the model. So if you don't already have the toolbox open, you need to go to the view tab at the top. And then click on the toolbox to open it. And now we need to go to the My Models tab, which is this one here. And then Flying Carpet, My Models should appear here. Just insert that. And then just click OK. Click No. And then you can close out the toolbox. So now we're just going to insert a script in so script Service. And we're going to call it Flying Carpet Script. And now at the top of this script, we're going to make some variables. So I'll say Local Game Pass ID equals, then you can paste that number. And then we need marketplace service, so I'm going to say local MPS for marketplace service equals game, come and get service, marketplace service. And now I need an event that fires every time someone joins the game. The game.players.local player. And I can say game.players.player added, and we'll connect function. And then in these brackets here, I'm going to just take the player object. And then you can open that function. And now we need a func uh, an event that fires every time the player gets a new character. So how I'm, how I'm going to get that event is I'm just going to say player dot character added. I want connect function. And now I'm just going to check if the player owns this game pass. So how I can do that is just say if mps colon user owns game pass async. And then in these brackets we need to give the user ID. So player dot user ID then a comma. And the game pass ID, which is the game pass ID variable. And then we say if that, then. And now we need to put the flying carpet in the explorer. Just drag it into the flying carpet script. And now we can say script.flyingcarpet. Call one clone. And a pair of brackets. And then dot parent equals player dot backpack. And then I'm just going to make it print player.name and then two dots to add something else to the string. Sorry, I spelled player wrong there. And then I'm just going to say player owns the flying carpet game pass. So now if I just play our game, but before that we need to go into game settings and down to security. I'm going to make sure this enable studio access to API services is enabled. Uh, if it's not, just enable it and click save. So now when we test our game, we can see that it says Squidding Zones, the Flying Carpet Game Pass, and I've got it in my inventory here, and I can select it and I can fly around. So that was how you make a Flying Carpet Game Pass in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.